Hey, this is Dr. Tom. Uh, I talked a lot about proper form and function of the spine, and we need motion. We need movement at every level of the spine. We need movement in your spine to maintain health and proper balance within your body. And sometimes people get confused by what I mean by movement. We need your joints to move because they can sit there and look at me and say, hey, you know, I can turn my head, look up and down. I, you know, I can do all these things. I have no problems. Everything must be good. Well, that can be a little deceiving, you know. So what happens when we you know, just look at the course of your life? You know, I'm 46 years old, been in car accidents, played sports, football, all these things that I've done over the course of my life. And what happens is even just wear and tear over time, we start to lose and you start to build restrictions in the muscles and to the joints of your body and your spine. And when we start to build up those restrictions, now we start to lose function at specific levels. I need what we need to see. Uh, within your body is that at each level there's 53 joints that make up your spine so at each level of your spine needs to move upon the bone below it so this bone needs to move on top of that bone and it just keeps going down w due to those restrictions what happens is all of a sudden we start to lose that motion at one specific level maybe multiple levels but keep it simple we start to lose motion at that one specific level your body can still move you can still do those things but you've lost motion here and that becomes very damaging becomes very destructive uh, in terms of the joints and you know that disc that cushion in between there it's extremely important to create uh, to keep that motion in there to create that motion in there because those discs they don't get the blood supply they stop getting blood supply when we're about 13 years of age so it needs proper motion in there to be able to pump nutrients and water into the disc and get toxins and debris out of the disc that's what maintains a healthy disc once we've lost that function at that level that pump system isn't happening discs start to become very brittle but yet all the pressure is remaining constant upon it and that's where we start to get bulging discs, herniated discs. And it doesn't stop there because now we're putting more and more pressure on top of your nervous system and there's where we're opening the door for bigger health problems to start to rear their head. So what we want, and that's why we do motion study x-rays because I want to see at each level are we getting movement or are we locked up, we're not working. So we need each level there you know, those motion study x-rays show us what's going on, and that's where we could put together the, the proper corrective plan, the corrective measures to fix the problem, get those joints to move, and you start to, you know, create health and balance back in your body. So, again, every level, every segment needs to move upon the bone below it. When it's not, that's what's causing the damage and uh, the opening door for sickness and, and health problems. So, go out, get it checked, and see what's going on in there. Take care.